Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn how to make the vertical security door inside the Portal 2 Hammer Editor. So first you're going to want to get a Funk instance and put it down with your Entity tool. Click on it and on VMF file name, click Browse and then make sure you go make sure you go to Instances and then you'll see a folder called door. You'll want to go to that folder and then at the bottom you'll see vertical security door. You want to click that and press apply. Now we have this vertical security door. We'll want to adjust it so that it faces the player. That'll do. And oh, we gotta move it so that it's level the ground. And now You'll have to go in there and hit fix up name. You'll want, you'll, you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name this heavy door one. And now you'll want to get your brush tool and go to your textures and get your trigger texture. And we'll just place that right here like that. That looks good. We do that. All right. Now we click on it. We press Control T. And now it. And now we can tie it to an entity. We'll want to tie it to a trigger once, or you could use a trigger multiple if you wanted. If you wanted it to stay open. Or to be able to walk through both sides of it. But I'm just going to make it a one-way heavy door. So you want to go to your outputs on the trigger and hit on start touch. Heavy door. And then you'll have all these different options. I'm just going to use the normal open door trigger. However, there are others. There are like malfunction. There's a malfunction one. For, for broke for overgrown or underground maps, there's open fast and close fast. If you are if you are trying to make sure the player doesn't escape, if or if the player is open going into an important area, but I'm just going to use the normal trigger, and I think that'll be good. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll need to duplicate it over here, and we'll just need to change the trigger here, the closed door. There. Alright. Let's save it and run and see what happens. Also, I'm using a new recording setup, so let me know if the uh, if the quality got better or worse. Okay, so we're in our little test map. Here's the door. We walk in front of it. it opens. We can walk. Oh, oops. Okay, I made the trigger too close to the door, and now we are stuck inside the door. Okay, we can fix that. Alright. All I did, I simply just moved it. I moved I made the door close too close to the player. I'd advise you you do not make the same mistake I did. Uh we don't actually need that to be that clo that far on the door. Okay. Um now it should work. Let's try again. Okay, here, here's the door, all right, yep, it opens, we go through it, okay, now, now it works as normal. So now you have a fully working door, although, oh, you, you probably want walls here on the sides, on all sides of it, 
or else you'll see this. This doesn't look very nice. And you'll also experience some discoloring if in certain circumstances when you use this door. I believe it, it can be fixed if you use fog and cube maps. But I think that just about does it. So, I hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching.